Hello, my favorite learners. I have another analogy for you, and this one has to do with propofol. Let's talk about why when you give a propofol bolus, the patient wakes up very quickly, as opposed to a long propofol infusion taking a long time for the patient to wake up. I want you to think of the vessel pore group or the fat and muscle as a sponge. So you give a propofol bolus, it goes to the brain, the patient falls asleep. It quickly redistributes to the vessel pore group, which is why they wake up very quickly. Then metabolizes by the liver and when we're talking about a propofol infusion, let's say we're doing a total IV anesthesia case for neuroanesthesia, which is typically what we do if they're doing neuromonitoring. Another lecture for another day. You have this patient on a drip for six hours, turn it off, and it takes the patient forever to wake up. The reason is, is because the propofol infusion has been saturating that sponge of the vessel pore group or the muscle and the fat. So it's now depoted. So think of that sponge is now completely saturated. When you turn that propofol drip off, propofol that is in that vessel pore group, the muscle and the fat, is dripping into the bloodstream, continuously sedates the patient, and then it has to rely solely on liver metabolism to clear out the bloodstream and wake the patient up. So I hope that makes a little bit more sense thinking about the vessel pore group as a sponge and why when you turn off a drip for a long case, it takes a long time for the patient to wake up.